This Black History Month, we're taking a moment to reflect on and recognize changemakers and their contributions to America. South Carolina Congressman Jim Clark. Byburn was elected to the House in 1992. He became Majority Whip in 2006, making him the highest-ranking African-American in Congress. It's a position he still holds today. The congressman is considered a mentor to many Democrats in South Carolina, including our CBS News political contributor and Democratic strategist Antoine Seawright. The pair sat down for a conversation to mark this moment in history. Congressman, in your book, uh, and I've quoted this a time of 10, you write, uh, our lives are the sum total of our experiences. And although they all have not been pleasant, they all have been blessed. You have done so many things in your life, and you've literally recalibrated history so many times in your life. Talk to us about some major events as we celebrate Black History Month, and perhaps some consequential people that impacted those blessed experiences known to be Jim Clyburn's experiences? Well, thank you uh, for uh, talking about the consequence of these things. Let me, you know, there's so much I could say <clears throat> about Black History Month uh, that would probably be very uh, educational to uh, a lot uh, of the uh, listeners here. But when the novels come along, uh, these are things I had to learn outside of school because they didn't have any textbooks. Now, every now and then I run across a student, as I did uh, a few weeks ago, who said that I saw you in my school book. I think that we are now getting to the point uh, where we can really uh, give due deference uh, to people who have made uh, this country uh, what it is. February of 2020, but February 29th, 2020, will be a day the world never forgot because it was a turning point, not only in Democratic presidential preference, primary preference history, but American political history. For you as someone who adjusted the temperature in this country and in American politics, what did that day mean for you when you saw the exit polls say 50 percent of the people who voted for Joe Biden voted because of the endorsement of Jim Clyburn? See, it's one thing to endorse. It's something else to have an effective endorsement. I didn't want to just endorse. I wanted it to be of such uh, that Joe Biden could get beyond those three losses he just had. He just lost in Iowa, and then New Hampshire, and then Nevada. And everybody was writing his political obituary. I had this lady who I didn't know at the time, but I now know her as Janie Jones, St. John's Baptist Church. Uh, sitting on the front pew, uh, pew, I'm there for a funeral. And she called me over and asked me who I was going to vote for. And I told her, and she looked at me and she says, Everybody, I needed to hear that. And the people in this community need to hear from you. And that's when I said, I'm going all in. And I went all in. The Congressional Black Caucus will celebrate, or celebrate 50 years this year. It's a monumental occasion, but it's known as the conscience of the Congress, I've said the conscience of the country. The celebration will happen with you being the highest ranking African-American member of the caucus, known as the dean of the caucus to some, but also without your dear friend and brother, John Lewis, there. What does 50 years of the Congressional Black Caucus mean for then, now, and years to come? Well, you know, John Lewis and I enjoyed a 60-year relationship. We first met in October, 1960. 
uh, and uh, that friendship uh, was indescribable. And John made some significant sacrifices. Uh, I, I say that back in the day, uh, we all accepted uh, nonviolence as a tactic. John Lewis, to him, John nonviolence became a way of life. Uh, and he had a tremendous uh, impact on me and most of the people uh, that he came in contact with. But John Lewis never gave up. Never gave up. I know we all went through it for the last four years. Few people thought we could pull off what we pull off last November. How many people you know uh, thought uh, that both of the United States senators from Georgia uh, in the November 3rd election, it would be Democrats when both were Republicans before. One would be Jewish, another a Black Baptist. <laughs> nobody thought that. It came about because nobody gave up. And so I believe uh, that we can make uh, Black History Month uh, a place, a, a time in space that everybody uh, can celebrate. You not only, in my view, are known as consequential, I think you represent perhaps one of the more transitional leaders of our day because you prepared a lot of people. What advice would you give to the next generation of leaders who will stand under shade because of the seeds that Jim Clyburn and others have planted? I would say to young people really two things, and you've heard me say both of them. Number one, I believe that every young person should get to know the people that he or she plan to make their livelihoods from. One of the biggest mistakes I think that people uh, make is, is trying to get people uh, to understand them. No, you spend your time understanding the people that you want to interact with. And I guarantee you, uh, they will understand you. The second thing I would say is to any young person, find something to do for which you're not paid. You get rewards in life for the things you do above and beyond that which you are paid to do. Every successful uh, uh, enterprise that I've ever gotten involved in came because of people looking and recognizing something that I was doing above and beyond that which I was paid to do. When the ink dries on the pages of history, you want the world to remember James E. Fiverr for what? Doing everything he possibly could to make America's greatness accessible and affordable for all. Plain and simple. And the AME Church said amen. Amen. <laughs> Mr. Whip, thank you for your time. Uh, thank you for all you've done uh, to make this little experiment called America work and for elevating, amplifying, putting megawatts to the Black experience. Thank you. Thank you, buddy.